Okay, so th the third section of our video today is about is going to be about what is going to happen in Europe and especially in former Warsaw Pact states or Yugoslavia or Yugoslavia and former socialist because Yugoslavia was never part of Warsaw Pact. Well, yeah, Albania was, but it quitted in 1960s. Yeah, so post ex socialist states, what is going to happen to them? Like, let's say next year, like after the inauguration. Yeah, so that just so what happens in Europe is going to depend yeah. on what happens with the outcome of this mm -hmm. presidential contest mm -hmm. in the United States. Mm -hmm. Really, the fate of the Western world depends on the outcome of this presidential contest right now. Mm -hmm. We know that the yeah. former Warsaw countries and former Yugoslavia countries mm -hmm. is con and continues to be the focal point of conflict, whereas the transatlantic mm -hmm. banking structures, the World Economic Forum, Bill Gates, Klaus Schwab, yeah. George Soros, okay, if they succeed against us, Trump's just standing in the way. If they yeah. succeed against we the people, in the, you know, that 15-20% chance they have, then you're going to see horrible things happen. Mm -hmm. Horrible things. Governments will destabilize as a result of lockdowns. The militaries will be compromised so that if they do the lockdown, people will rise up. And if they don't do the lockdown, then assets of the military will overthrow any any presidents or prime ministers that go against it. Lukashenko and Belarus, there are parts of the world that appear as countries, but they're not countries. There are massive psychological operations that exist as sort of ground zero experiment loci. Yeah. You have Hong Kong and you have Taiwan, you have Belarus, you have Serbia, you have Cuba, there are some other countries in the world that operate in this nether world, which are pseudo-sovereign states that are managed by multiple powers simultaneously that have adverse relationships. Like Serbia has Germany, Russia, and the United States mm -hmm. all have their wings in the intelligence services and the military. So there's really no good solutions that occur if the outcome in the United States is bad. Because then the lockdowns are going to create, like in Serbia, Vucic will not be able to hold on to power almost no matter what he does. I mean, the only move that would save Serbia is to openly call for a Russian occupation of hmm. the country. In well, it sounds kind of, well, considering that uh, for the last 30 years, well, not maybe not 30 years, well, well, with, with the exception of Crimea, Russia has been retreating, retreating, uh, like abandoning its positions. If we get a military base in Serbia... You have one. Yeah, we have one, but um, it's not like... It's not like we have like um, some sort of S four hundreds or Iskander missiles yeah, deployed. Yeah, but you have you have a uh, Russian military in Serbia. Yeah. And you have a runway. Yeah. And it's only what an hour flight, two hour flight from the from the south front in Russian Federation. Mm -hmm. It's what a two hour, two and a half hour flight. Yeah, probably. To niche. Mm hmm. So you have the Russian military base in Nish already, which is a check on Camp Bond deal in Kosovo. You know, Trump made good conditions for Russia and Serbia. Mm -hmm. And, you know, because all of the Kosovo investment is Madeleine Albright and General Petraeus, anti-Trump. Yeah. You know, Trump doesn't even have to like Serbia or like Russia. There's no evidence that he does, per mm. se. But he's definitely at war with the American military-industrial complex and the former administration's assets in Kosovo. Yeah. That's for sure. 
And we all know that Kosovo is like the heart of human trafficking, child sex slave trafficking, organ trafficking. That's Hashim Tachi. That's Kosovo. By That's the way, the yellow house. wasn't Hashim Tachi sent to trial? Yes. That wouldn't have happened if Hillary Clinton won that election. Mm -hmm. He would have been, you know, elevated to like the, mm -hmm. you know, he would have won like the Pulitzer, whatever. He would have won the, would have won like the fucking <laughs> Peace Award or some shit. The, uh, you know, Nobel Peace Prize. You mean Nobel Peace Prize? He would have won the Pulitzer Prize for his uh, mm -hmm. autobiography of how he ran the Yellow House, extracting children's organs. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Things happened that weren't supposed to happen already, dude. The magic really began mm -hmm. with uh, Mother Miriam of the Cross in Syria. Like some magical, I mean, there is magic in the world. See, like millionaires are like mm -hmm. science. Millionaires are like statistics. Billionaires are like magic. Mm -hmm. Billionaires, now, not good magic, but, you know. Sorcery. Mm -hmm. I like, see. The world, look, human abilities our mental abilities are all on the same electromagnetic wavelengths that is in the light spectrum. Light carries information. Like your thoughts are being read all the time by the universe. The universe is a conscious sentient being that already has a plan. There's no time in the, the level above the universe of this existence. There is no time. Everything's already happened or everything happens at once. Take your pick. We are only experiencing the explosion where, where, where things appear, the illusion of time, where events appear to unfold, where we have motion, well, I'm over here, I'm not over there, matter, okay? That's what's going on here. Like, but that's why you have dreams and then the things happen. Like yeah. in your dreams, when you're not completely connected to the illusion, to the, you know, the fallen manifested world mm -hmm. of time. You can see things that are happening in the future. You know, you meet people and you're like, I've known you all my life. Mm -hmm. This is not uh, anything other than magic. So, magic is a real thing in the world. And the problem is that the only people in the regular world who normally practice this are doing it, are, focus, are drawing on the dark energies. That's why they appear powerful, but they're not powerful at all. Like, I know this is kind of funny. Mm -hmm. I hate the reference, but remember like when Obi-Wan Kenobi gets like, mm -hmm. and then he just reappears as like a ghost? Yeah. It's like, don't be afraid about this body of yours. Like children and so forth should be protected and there's a plan for all children to grow up and to be people and that's oh, right and that's just. But for adults who make good with God and understand the world, have no mm -hmm. fear of death. You know, that's just this is just like the, the cocoon, you know, before mm -hmm. the butterfly. Okay, mm -hmm. we're just caterpillars right now. Have no fear. This is like people know this, it's been known, there's like all kinds of CIA uh, projects to understand this. There's uh, trying to uh, go into other people's dreams from a dream state. Um, to change people's consciousness. Mm -hmm. uh, Europe is going to have uh, lockdowns, street battles, Muslim Brotherhood and Wahhabis will be activated mm -hmm. from mosques that are allowed to operate without any control or being controlled by the wrong intelligence services more correctly into the point. Mm -hmm. You're going to have populist forces, even of the left, that are going to be called far right. Yeah. That are going to be on the same army with national conservative forces that are filled with love and not hate. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah. But the media simulation is falling apart. Like, we are winning this fight right now. Like, I am very optimistic and I have grounded reasons mm -hmm. to know that we are on the winning side of this. You know, horrible things have happened in history. Yeah. Horrible things have happened in history. But humanity survives. This idea of eliminating humanity will fail. 